can't have sex in here. You know, we are in a hotel. I, they have rooms. Don't you have a credit card? Helen gave it to me for emergencies. I think that's qualified. <laughs> Did you hear something? <laughs> Nothing to see here, just looking for my contact. I'll go tell Allie that I'm not sleeping over. You look pretty upset over a lost contact. Unlikely. If Claire and I can work it out, anyone can. All she cares about is that stupid job. Well, then help her get it. So my girlfriend can be thousands of miles away from me? Better than no girlfriend at all. <sighs> Mo, where have you been? You missed our song. We were supposed to dance. Yeah, whatever. What is wrong with you? You tell me. Apparently, I'm so pathetic. You gotta pay people to be my friend. The only reason I paid Jake to come here is because you didn't want to share your feelings with him. So, I came up with a scheme. I scheme! You know I scheme! And then you run off, miss our song, and get drunk? Go, Mo! <laughs> uh, you tell her, baby. You tell her. I'll be at fun with your new friends. Marisol, wait. What? Open Gangnam Style. Gangnam Style. Gangnam Style. These shoes are from the Mosey. I'm sorry, Davey. Can we, can we talk about this, please? No. I need some advice. Oh, so, is this about Eli? I saw you two dancing. We're back together. <laughs> and we're going to... Uh, on prom night? Oh, I know, it's so cliche. <laughs> this isn't because we found that lump on your back and you think you're gonna die, is it? No, actually, I totally forgot about that. Well, good. <laughs> okay, so back to me. Any last minute advice? Uh, be safe. Of course. Oh, and don't be concerned if it's weird. Ready? Mm, have fun, you two. <laughs> you told them? I really wish I hadn't. So, going to Stanford in the fall, that's... Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to be paying off student loans until I'm 40, but <laughs> it'll be worth it. Yeah. What are your plans? Uh, well, I'm mushroom picking in BC for the summer. Oh. Yeah, then... Uh, who knows? Who knows? Guys, 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 guys. Wait, are you back? Uh, are you guys back together? Uh, no, 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 no. We're, we're just catching up. What, what's up? Marisol won't talk to me. I missed our dance. The one she's been talking about for months? You guys gotta help me make it better, please. You're gonna have to do something big. I've brainstormed over two dozen ideas to get you that fashion job back. I already called Federico's hotel. He's at the airport. Okay, then let's go there. No. 
I spent months working on this prom, and I just want to enjoy my last night with my friends. But you said we can make it through anything together. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe we're just too different. <laughs> Your palms are sweaty. You really know how to romance a girl. You're not nervous, are you? It's just we've waited for so long. Built up this moment. What if it's a disappointment? Okay, stand still. Was that disappointment? No. Just let me know when it goes downhill. So are you. Girlfriend. Well, ex girlfriend, it's complicated. So you impersonated Fiona? That is crazy. I know. But haven't you ever done something crazy because you were in love? I must go. My plane is about to board. This year has been a disaster. My dad's losing his mind, literally. I couldn't keep up in school, and the only reason I made it through is because Fiona Coyne was on my team. And that's why I'm so scared to lose her, because everyone should have a Fiona, and I don't know where I'll find another. She sounds like a special girl. She is. She really is. And she's a talented designer. And she even designed the dress I'm wearing and the necklace. And I have a bunch more photos on my phone. I'm sorry. I must go. I understand. <sighs> Tell real Fiona Coin to give me a call. We will see if she is as special as you say. Oh, mucho grazie, Signor Cavalieri. Do I look different? Completely. They're gonna know we had sex as soon as they see you. <laughs> had a great night. Me too. I can't believe you leave in 12 hours. I guess this will be the last day we have together for a while. What should we do? You have to get ready for your graduation. And so do I. What's wrong? Your nose is it's bleeding. It's, um, it's probably just a dryer from the hotel. Are you okay? Do I need to take you to the doctor? No, but I will take your hanky. Fiona's practicing for her valedictorian speech. She doesn't want to be disturbed. Well, can you deliver a message then? I found Federico at the airport. And he agreed to give Fiona a second chance. So tell her I say, good luck and goodbye. Wait. You really chased Federico down at the airport? Like in a movie? I had to do something. 
Does this mean you forgive me? Just don't impersonate me again. I solemnly swear. Good. <laughs> you can visit lots. We'll put a serious dent in my trust fund. And then after I graduate, I'll find an art school in Italy. Yeah, I'll probably be working crazy hours. I'll get a dog for company. And your dad can fly over whenever he wants. You're so lonely without me. That's what Skype's for. Right. And besides, we'll only be in Italy for one or two years, right? Yeah, maybe after that we'll go to Paris or Dubai. We'll get the whole world to explore together. Isn't that exciting? It's something. I'll call Federico. Thank you for coming. This year's graduates are a uh, diverse bunch. I'm proud to be their principal, and I'm sad to say goodbye. So before I get too emotional, the diplomas. First up, Bianca D'Souza. Did it, <clears throat> girl. Katie Matlin. Marisol Lewis. Owen Milligan. Mo Mashkor. Jake Martin. Got your emergency text. What's wrong? Was the sex bad? No. No, it was fine. Perfect, actually. Then why the 911? I, I need you to convince me that I don't have cancer. The lump? Claire, ugh, I told you it's probably just, just a, a cyst or lipoma or fibroma. Somebody's been on the internet. I, I had a nosebleed this morning and it wouldn't stop so my mom took me to the doctor. They want to do a biopsy. A biopsy? Yeah, it's where they, they take a needle and extract a to piece test of tissue. Cancer. Yeah. Apparently, nosebleeds and swollen lymph nodes are the lump. common symptoms of leukemia. But they're probably just being cautious. I mean, do you remember when I thought I was pregnant? And everything turned out fine. It's what I keep telling myself. You're young, you don't smoke, you eat healthy, you volunteer. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> it's probably nothing. And what if it's not? Did you tell Eli? I will. But not today. You only graduate once. Yeah, please. And finally, last but not least, your student council co-president and your valedictorian, Fiona Coyne. Yeah. Woo! Thank you, Mr. Simpson. And thank you, everyone, for coming. I never expected to be standing before you as valedictorian. In fact, last year, I never expected to graduate at all. I was at my lowest point. I skipped graduation to go to the liquor store. Okay, that might have been an overshare, but <laughs> my point is, I was a mess and so scared of the future. I had to come back to Degrassi, even though all of my friends were moving on. But then I made new friends. Really, really great friends. So don't be afraid of change. No matter how scary it seems, if I can make it through, so can you. So what more is there to say? Thanks, Degrassi. I've had the time of my life.
Now I've had the time of my life And I never felt like this before Yes, I swear it's the truth And I owe it all to you Cause I've had the time of my life and I owe it all to you. I've been waiting for so long. Now I finally found someone to stand by me. So we take each other's hand. Cause we seem to understand the urgency. Marshall Lewis may have the stance. This could be wrong because I've had the time of my life. I've never felt this way So, am I forgiven? Not until you tell Jake how you really feel and that you still want to be friends now that we're graduates. Talk to him. It's your last chance. I just wanted to say, uh, have a good summer. Yeah, cool, man, yeah. All right, dude. You too. And I know this is the end of school, all right? But I don't want this to be the end of our friendship. I want you in my life for the long run, dude. All right? You think I'm so lame. I was going to see if maybe our kids could play together, you know. Goldsworthy. Amy. Your speech was so inspirational. Also, I think we should break up. This is because of Italy. You want to explore the world, and I just want to read about it from my comfy chair. I like that we're different. Me too. But I don't want to hold you back. I know it's scary. It's terrifying. But it's the right thing to do. Come on, coin. We're about to toss our caps. You coming? Maybe just one last kiss. Well, Fiona. <sighs> Good riddance. So I guess it's up to us to keep the drama going? Or maybe next year Degrassi can be drama free? <laughs> <laughs> Why so glum, Edwards? I might have cancer. <laughs> Good one. Um, are you okay? I'll, uh, I'll survive. And what are you two girls gossiping about? Only how much I will miss you tomorrow. Safe travels, Eli. <laughs> Don't you uh, have a cap to toss? 
Yes, but then I'd have to let go of you. No, I, I don't want you missing out on anything because of me. Promise? All right, Miss Serious. But if I'm going, you're coming with me. There's something kind of wrong. This year we'll fly by and we'll be in New York together. That's the plan. We get through together. <laughs> All right, three, two, two one. Woo!